Not that long ago, I put out a video about what's left for ground forces, and I... I may have undercut the remaining vehicles that can be added for Italy. I know, I know, and I heard you, and I'm very sorry. Now that I've gotten more sources on hand, I'd like to do a video on some of them, if not all. Consider this as my sort of love letter to Italy mains as I've been playing the Ariete recently and I've been having a blast just playing it. Well here we are, top tier Italy. We start with the OF-40 Mark III. With the limited success of the Automelara Fiat collaboration on the OF-40, with only 36 being sold off to its only customer the United Arab Emirates, Automelara planned for another export vehicle that would take technology used on the Automelara Iveco Consortium Zariete and fit it onto the Palmario chassis of the OF-40. The product would become something like the Ariete Preserie, but on a lengthened OF-40 chassis to house an 1100 horsepower MTU diesel engine. The tank was painted in a desert tan camouflage, suggesting that it was attempted as a competitor for UAE's replacement of the OF-40 Mark II. Eventually, UAE would use the Leclerc as a replacement. The EOF-40 Mark III used the term's fire control system used on the Ariete for thermal site imaging and fully stabilized capability on the Automelara 120-44 gun. Given that this tank had very little documents to go on, Gaijin could probably just use the Ariete's engine as a template for the 1100 horsepower MTU engine and the automatic's transmission and hull paired with the Ariete Preserie's fire control system shells, and turret. Though of course, Gaijin could use the resources to find out more about this vehicle to give it the due justice it deserves when added into the game. It would make for a good 10.0 or 9.7 vehicle if used all the shells that the Ariete Preserie utilized. If the OF-40 Mark III was sparingly documented, the Leonardo M60A3 is a direct opposite. Owing to the large number of aging M60A3s Italy has, Leonardo decided on an upgrade package to place the M60 A3 at a modern standard. One of the most significant upgrades is the upgrade of the gun from the 105mm M68 to the 120mm L45 gun used by the Centauro II. While different from the Automelara 120-44 gun, both guns can utilize the same NATO shells. The fire control system on the tank was also upgraded to the Terms D fire control system of the Leonardo built M60 A3s. The turret cupola is removed and replaced with a hit roll L remotely operated weapon station with an Erika thermal imager and 12.7mm gun. According to Leonardo, the 12.7mm gun can be replaced by 7.62mm and 40mm grenade launcher depending on the user requirement. The engine also received an upgrade. With the AVDS 1792D750 horsepower engine being upgraded to the 1795T, totaling 908 horsepower. The newer CD850 6 transmission was also mounted. This improved the new tank's mobility to carry the weight of the new armor mounted on it. The most obvious upgrade is the armor. The armor encompasses the frontal and side aspects of the tank, with the turret armor and side skirts increasing its effectivity against small caliber autocannons and heat rounds and the rear screen armor protecting against RPG rounds. In-game, the Leonardo M60 A3 should probably share the same BR as the M60 AMBT at 9.7 with the CL3143 as its top shell. The KEW and the CL3143 are not that far from each other in terms of penetration values with the AMBT's KEW having 583mm of pen and the CL3143 having 5089mm of pen. We already have the Centauro with a 120mm gun in game, but the Centauro 2 is so much more than that. The Centauro 2 uses a bustle autoloader carrying 12 rounds and can carry 40 rounds in total. As discussed before with the Leonardo M6 A3, the gun can use wide array of NATO 120mm shells. However, uncharacteristic of tanks with autoloaders, and like the PT-16 T-14 mod, the Centauro II retains a loader that moves shells from the hull ammo storage to the turret autoloader. The gunner and commander are seated in the turret, with a driver loader in the hull. The hull was also redesigned. A modified Fetcha hull, the new engine also increases the power to 506 horsepower. Due to the redesigned muscle brake of the 120mm, 
the recoil of the gun is reduced, reducing the need for suspension damping and the gun jumping up when fired 90 degrees to the side. An unloaded Centauro would be real nice at 10.7 Italy to run with Arietes. Team shells as a Centauro 1120 but with a new hull and engine. Speaking of the Freccia, the Freccia is a wheeled IFB counterpart to the Dardo. Also known as the Centauro AIFB, it uses the same 25mm Erlikon KBA as the Dardo and can carry two tow missiles in the same configuration on the Dardo's turret. Freccia also has a variant without the ATGM launcher and a hit fist variant with the same 25mm Erlikon KBA or 30mm OWS but replacing the tow launchers with Spike LR launchers. Like the Dardo, the Freccia also holds three crew members, the driver, gunner, and commander. The hull, like the Dardo, is rated to resist autocannon fire of up to 25mm on the front and 14.5mm on the sides and rear. As standard with most AFBs of the time, the Freccia's engine is mounted adjacent to the driver for extra protection from the front. The Freccia is equipped with a thermal gunner sight and a panoramic commander sight. In War Thunder, I think the Freccia with tow missiles are fine at the same BR as the Dardo and the one with spike LRs at 10.7. Fire and forget ATGMs for nice, but not for below top tier. We'll take a detour from modern vehicles of Italy to talk about their attempted upgrades of their old tank fleet during the Cold War. We start with the Leopard 1 Thetis. In the 1970s, Otto Melara was able to develop the Thetis tank site, a first generation thermal infrared imager, and tried to upgrade their tank fleet with it. The first attempt was on their Leopard 1 tanks. The Thetis thermal site was installed on the right side of the mantle. It's worth noting that these Leopards are the base model with Leopards with no stabilizer and APFS DS rounds. The upgrade program on the Leopard, as well as the OF-40, was cancelled due to Italy's acquisition of Leopard 1A2 tanks. Being the same as the Leopard 1 at 7.3 in every way except thermals, I believe it can sit at 8.0 or 8.3 if added. The next one was already mentioned. The OF-40 was also considered with the Thetis thermal site. The OF-40 Mark I was fitted with a Thetis thermal site just above the mantlet and had extra armor installed around the tank. The project was cancelled around the same time as the Leopard 1 Thetis due to the OF-40 Mark II upgrade package becoming available and has been since left at the Otomelara factory. It was rented by the Italian police in 2006 as used for demonstration of police procedure with a special Leopard name emblazoned on the side along with some police logos on the mantlet. As the Leopard 1 and OF-40 Mark I share almost the same characteristics, I believe a BR of 8.3 would be great for both of them fitted with a Thetis thermal site. So that's it for the interesting vehicles I've got for Italy. I would have included more because there are so many one-offs that Italy experimented such as a Leopard with a first gun in an OF-40 Gepard kind of SPAA prototype. I didn't even get into the Ariete with a hit pack Mark II turret. Italy has so much to offer in the way of ground vehicles in War Thunder, and I hope Gaijin puts through with their considered suggestions. This is the Dr. MD, Clear Skies, and Godspeed.